please remember to subscribe and support the channel. Thank you. So in this exercise, this is a possession-based exercise. We have six against two. They're playing one touch right now. After six passes, they can get it to the other side of the field. The blue team, I mean, sorry, the red team keeps four in the middle to try to block passes coming through. If they win it, if the defenders win it, they could score on any small-sided goal located on the outside of the field. Now, there's a number of variations that we go through here. We've now made this into two touch. So once you make it into two touch, they're sending three defenders. Still the same rule applies after six passes. Play it to the other side. Three defenders should come in. Can we get six passes here? After six, switch it to the other side. So you can adjust the number of passes with the, the ability of the players you have. So remember, we started with two defenders, then we added three. The next progression is to keep it two touch. We'll add um, four defenders, and then you could give them free play against four defenders. That'll be coming up next. You'll be able to see that. And we're going to add scoring in for the team in possession as well. I try to have them keep it on the ground when they're switching. Uh, from side to side. So now there's one, two, there's three goals in the center channel. So there's no more minimum passes that the players need to make. It is now free play. They score a goal if they score on any of these three channels. The blue team actually has an extra player in now. They should have kept one back. So there should be two in the channel, four pressing. I'm trying to figure it out now. So that's a goal. Blue is a little disorganized at the moment. They need to press four and keep two to guard these goals. Now, if they win it, they try to score. So he just tried to score there, the blue team. Press four, keep two. Still a little slow reacting there with the blue. And they should be guarding these three goals in there. Again, if blue wins the ball, they look to score immediately on any goal on the outside. And your point tally keeps going. So whether if you score between a goal in the middle, you keep your points. And if you're the defending team, you keep your points by scoring on the outside. After two minutes, we switch. So we did maybe six rotations. Hope you enjoyed it. I think your kids will like that one. And if you're interested in taking my cognitive soccer coaching course, please visit DiBernardoSoccerSchool.com and click Purchase Course.